Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. Gonna be a pretty busy couple of days here, actually. We have got a lot of stuff dropping, um, you know, for both Global and JP here. Um, let's jump into the celebration info. Wait a minute. Did we... Oh, wait, wait, hold, 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 hold. Let me pull up the... I, I just realized, because I, I glanced through Global Celebration Info, I didn't see... Oh, I, I wonder, is is that Weiss event, is that part of the 8th anniversary countdown? Let, let's just, let's, let's just go through, maybe I miss it, Let, let's, let's just go through and see what we got right here. Alright, so we have the Super 17, uh, celebration on Global Dokkan. Oh, LR Super 17, right guys? Should let you know the quality of characters coming, yeah! Alright, so Easy A area, Easy A, um, Battlefield will be here, some stuff, okay. Login bonus. Uh, special missions, okay? Then we get to the Dokkan Festival. Um, kids, let's not spend too much time here. You don't want to summon in this. Bad, 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 bad. Uh, by my estimation, top tier characters. Like, how? what would I define top tier character as? Top 50? Super 17 is definitely a top 50 unit. Definitely top 50. De def he's definitely top 50, right? For sure. Gotta be, gotta be, gotta be. I don't know... I mean, I, I have not kept track of, like, all right, you know, uh, all the units, one to Raditz. I haven't kept that up, but they got to be top 50. Pan is probably, uh, I mean, I'll be generous. I mean, Pan has got to be in, like, the top 75 at least. But, like, uh, I don't know if a banner where I'm going, like, yeah, they're, like, maybe top 50. And, yeah, she's, like, top 75. I don't know if that's really um, the best type of banner you want to be summoning on. Uh, Global's moving into the super hot fire period uh, anniversary worldwide down celebration where you're going to want to have a lot of stones. You're going to feel like a real Muppet when you put stones into this banner. Uh, so don't do it. Do not uh, do it. Uh, super 17 is, again, a fine unit. Um, they do have, I guess, a lot of like bad conditions, flaws built into the kits. Um, not, things are not really free and easy for this character, smooth for this character, anything like that. You just have annoying condition on annoying condition to deal with, right? 70% or less starting from the fifth turn is annoying as hell. Um, and then you gotta get hit 500 times to build up their defense. You only have this extra damage reduction for the first couple of turns, right? You know, you can only have the key blast nullification if you're under 70% HP. Just really a lot of, um, unfortunate issues issues uh baked into this character's kit right here uh very very unfortunate for super 17 uh then we have dr joe and dr mew uh they have their really strong support which is awesome i am loving that dokkan is giving us a lot of these characters who are doing the multiple turn support that is very good but we got to make these characters capable of taking hits as well right like the, you know these main banner characters can't be this this doesn't cut it. This, no. This doesn't, uh, doesn't really, uh, give me much faith, right? Um, I, this is also really stupid. I, it's, we now have had several characters, like, like, villains, I, I guess both Turles and Super 17. Like, these are characters that have conditions for, like, fighting Goku and fighting Super Class and stuff like that. Like, I I certainly would love maybe a red zone with a bunch of, you know, Super Class um, enemies. But, I mean, how soon is it coming? Who knows? That's the problem with them doing stuff like that, like Turles having the Goku family condition or something, is that by the time we get these events, the characters, like, will suck. And, like, it doesn't even matter, right? Like, it's, like, it's 500 better units at this point. That's That, I think, is, is sort of the main fear um, with characters that have these types of conditions and stuff. So, peel off trove packs, sure, sales, Elder Kai banner. Um, then we get to the Universal Survival Saga Easy A area. Uh, so we have these two free-to-play characters. Not really any point in talking a lot about Goten, Trunks, and Marin right here. Um, they are not really too crazy. Uh, this is a unit you're using specifically just for, like, burst mode or, uh, uh, the support memory event or something, I guess. Um, I mean, they can, uh, well, they do, um, well, they're links. No. Yeah, they don't really have much to them, unfortunately. 
Uh, then you got Casserole. Anniversary Casserole on Legends. I, I do like his sticker too, right? Like, I don't know. His sticker kind of looks decent right there. Um, Anniversary Casserole. That's just his new official name. I don't, I have, I actually have no problem with Casserole being an anniversary unit. I would be okay if Dokkan, Dokkan did turn up power for their sixth anniversary. If Casserole was um, an anniversary unit in there somehow, like I would have been totally on board with that, right? All right, so our boy Casserole, uh, he's pretty good. It's just that Universe 11 needs characters for this guy to be solid. But, like, you know, I, I feel like Castrol is doing some good stuff. He's got some defensive stacking. He's got some strong support. I think for a free-to-play character, Castrol is pretty decent, right? Like, it's pretty good. Although, to be fair, we have been getting some stronger um, free-to-play characters recently. So, some really decent free-to-play characters. So, that's definitely a good sign for Dokkan. Um, uh, Super 17's Dokkan event, of course, gets a new stage. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, then we get the two new missions added to the GT Legendary Goku event. We've got that right here. There's going to be a mission against Inhuman Deeds and a mission with Joined Forces. I think these can be fun, right? Because it's like you're going to be using a team that you're probably not using too often. Um, <clears throat> you certainly could use uh, the LR Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta for that Joined Forces mission. Um, I think that they could be pretty effective for that. Uh, but, I mean, obviously, this is not... This is content. One of these missions, pretty much every single celebration they should drop. I don't really see a reason why these can't be every celebration. Um, you know, it, these are fun. I, I, I do like these. So, we have that. Uh, Battlefield. Um, kind of just, like, returning events. Returning events. Just a bunch of returning story events. Returning easy areas. Stuff like that. Um, and then we get to this. So MVP 17, he will be easying on June 6th. Uh, and then we have MVP 17 right here. So I do like Tournament of Power MVP 17. Um, I think he's a fine easy A. Uh, you know, maybe not quite up to snuff with Piccolo and Blue Kaioken Goku, but he's decent. Um, he, of course, will be a lot more spectacular uh, if you're going to be running him on the Android category team where you could maybe get some stuff like Android Assault activated. That extra defense from some of these links uh, can help him out quite a bit, right? Shocking Speed, Android Assault, stuff like that. Uh, his support is pretty good. The three key 60% defense can allow him to be pretty effective um, on a lot of different teams, right? Uh, but the, what really makes him good is when your HP is below 77%, and then he's got all this damage reduction, defense, and he's supporting allies' defense. I think uh, MVP 17 is really solid after that. But, I mean, he's just a support character you're using, right? He, like, he's not going to blow people away with his 50 million attack sets and stuff like that. But he's kind of like a, just a utility character that you can run. I think he's fine. I think he's fine. They could have made him a little bit better, just a little bit tankier. But uh, I do think that this um, MVP 17, again, I, I would I would consider him a fine character for sure. Um, so we got him. Uh, 17's Zokan event will be up, so you can grind his medals. And we get to the bottom of this. Yeah, so uh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's not here. I I don't think I'm, I didn't miss it anywhere. I, I guess it must be related towards to this, like like the 8th anniversary coming up, or, oh man, maybe maybe it is, it's a, it's a, maybe it is a pack that you buy, right? Like, I saw Global Players, oh my god, Globest, but it's just like another pack you buy, but it's not like the craziest ever. I, I guess the one thing about, like, something you could purchase is Dokkan does now have a history of then turning it into uh, something that they eventually will give out for free. So what I'm talking about <clears throat> is this right here, this event. This is like a special version of the Whis event. And then this key allows you to do it. I mean, it it comes out uh, tonight, right? Or, or to, is it tomorrow night? Uh, yeah, I mean, this... Oh, oh, it's tomorrow at reset is when this comes out. Tomorrow at reset for Global. Uh, I guess we'll see then. I don't... Again, I don't know if it's, uh, like, uh, paid or or what. 
But it's like, they want you to do it 16 times. It gives you a bunch of stones. And I assume it's going to give you some really good equips. So I, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But that wasn't in the celebration info. So we'll see exactly what um, this is going to be, I guess, when it's actually added in game. So uh, let me know what you guys think of the global celebration info. I guess it's not the craziest ever, but uh, global's uh, eighth anniversary is right around the corner. So let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you all next time.